Who Presley came to New York to perform at Madison Square Garden. It was the first time Presley had ever appeared in concert in New York. Reporters gathered at the New York Hilton where Presley joined by his father Vernon and Colonel Tom Parker held a news conference. First of all, I plead innocent of all charges. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. No, all kidding aside, we had to wait our turn to get into the garden, you know. No, I stopped using the greasy kid stuff, too. <laughs> just, just like everybody else here, man. Yeah. Well, I found that uh, in the audiences that we have, it's, it's mixed. It's, it's older people, younger people. And... Still making his records chart-topping hits. Priscilla Presley filed for divorce. The couple had been separated since February. On September 9th, Elvis met Linda Thompson. She was the reigning Miss Tennessee and third runner-up in the Miss USA pageant. Elvis and Linda became constant companion. Later that year in November, Presley's 33rd and last film, Elvis on Tour, was released. In January of 1973, Presley arrived in Hawaii for a unique around-the-world event called Aloha from Hawaii. It was a live concert transmitted via satellite all over the world. In a press interview, Elvis talked about his feelings. It's uh, very hard to comprehend it because uh, in 15 years, it's hard to comprehend that happening. You know, to all the, all the countries all over the world via satellite, it's very difficult to comprehend. A billion people. Throughout the early 70s, Elvis continued to tour extensively, although many fans began to notice that he was gaining weight. But the crowds kept coming to see him, and many refused to leave the theater until they heard the announcement, Elvis has left the building. In 1975, Elvis broke the record for gate receipts for a single performance at a concert in Pontiac, Michigan. By 1976, Elvis's weight had ballooned to over 230 pounds. There were rumors of erratic behavior and drug abuse. He became more and more isolated from his fans as he was whisked off immediately after each performance. In 1977, Elvis had to stop a concert in Baltimore for health reasons. He left the stage and returned 30 minutes later. The tabloids began running negative articles about Presley's food cravings and reported temper tantrums. On June 26, 1977, Elvis gave what would be his last public performance at Union Square Arena in Indianapolis. On August 1st, 1977, the book Elvis, What Happened was published. Written by longtime Elvis insiders, Red and Sonny West and Dave Hebler, the shocking book describes Elvis as a brooding and violent man, obsessed by death. It outlines sexual encounters and drug binges. These had to be difficult days for Elvis. The only thing that would silence the critics would be a new concert tour. The first date was set for August 17th, but it was not to be. On August 16, 1977, at 2.30 p.m., Ginger Alden, Presley's current girlfriend, found Elvis unconscious in a second-floor bathroom at Graceland. Medical assistance was summoned, and Presley was rushed to Baptist Memorial Hospital. He was pronounced dead at 3.30 p.m. throughout the world. Distraught fans converged on Memphis. At Graceland, Elvis was laid out in a huge copper coffin, wearing a white suit, navy shirt, and his diamond-encrusted TCB, taking care of business, ring. Over 10,000 grief-stricken fans were allowed to pass by the coffin. The National Enquirer managed to sneak a photo of Elvis and splashed it on their front page. On August 17, 1977, a funeral cortege of white Cadillacs slowly made its way from Graceland to Forest Hill Cemetery. There are some who claim he had serious health problems and suffered three previous heart attacks. Another rumor was that he was taking drugs because he was dying of bone cancer. Whether prescription or not, at the time of his death, apparently, Elvis Presley was taking a lot of drugs. But whatever the reason, one thing was for sure, his fans refused to let him go. RCA continued to release Presley albums. Hundreds of Elvis impersonators tried to fill the gap left by Presley. There were even Elvis Presley film festivals highlighting his movie career. In 1982, Priscilla, acting for her daughter Lisa Marie, opened Graceland to the public. One of the most memorable areas of the house is the trophy room, which was added in 1965. 
It contains photos from Elvis's early years, the first five records he ever released on the Sun label, his first gold record for Heartbreak Hotel, posters from his 33 movies, the wedding clothes he and Priscilla wore, a wall of gold and platinum records, and the jumpsuit he wore in his very last concert in 1977.